Got a Crown Vic. I'm going to replace the front rotors and brake pads. I'm going to throw the jack right under here. We got our jack stand in place. Now the lug nut, now tire and wheel. Now we're going to look in here. We're going to take this bolt here out and we're going to come down here. We're going to take this bolt here out. That way we can get rid of the caliper. Two bolts came out really easy. They were pretty small. Okay, now we'll go ahead and go ahead and take the caliper out. Probably on the top, probably on the bottom. And it should uh, pull right out. Now we'll set it aside. Now we'll go ahead and take these brake pads off. Just go in here and pry behind here. Okay, now we'll go right down in here. We got a bolt right here we have to take out. We have a bolt right here we have to take out. And then this uh, bracket right here should slide right out. Okay, now these bolts back here takes an 18 millimeter wrench or socket. I'm going to use a wrench. It'd probably be easier to use a socket and ratchet. Okay, this came right off after the bolts came out. They were tight. So be prepared to put a breaker bar on them, an equalizer or a hammer, whichever you want to call it, to break them loose. A ratchet would have been a whole lot easier with an 18 millimeter socket. Be careful that this uh, doesn't slip off your caliper that's on top of the rotor because now we're getting ready to pull the rotor off. somewhere where it's not going to fall. It should just slide right off. There we go. After looking at this rotor, I just decided to replace it because it, was, it could probably be turned. I may go down and go ahead and have it turned later just to see if it can be turned. But right now I'm just going ahead and replace it. Now let's have a look at our new rotor. We'll go ahead and unwrap it and stick it on there. Okay, you got some real sticky stuff on here. You need to take some brake cleaner. Got it on here. clean all this off before you put it on. Oh, we got it all cleaned off pretty good. Stick it on there. Now we'll put our bracket back on here. Okay, we got this bracket back on. Now we're going to put grease in these little slides right here and up here so that the uh, brakes can slide back and forth with ease. This brake lubricant will keep the brakes from sticking. I'll just put it in this little piece of uh, metal down here. It's like a guide. And there's a one up here at the top. It's like a little guide for the brakes. This will keep it from sticking. That way it can move in and out a little easier. And we'll take that grease and put it on these rails. back in the front so it'll slide here I usually use waterproof grease this was free so I figured I'd use it go ahead and put your brake pads back on slide them in there they only go in one way front and back Make sure you get this little silver piece right here. Snap back down inside there. Okay, what I got is two clamps. A 
four inch clamp and a three inch clamp. I mean, it don't matter, they can both be three or they can both be four. I just happen to have two odd clamps. Go ahead and open your first clamp, doesn't matter which one. Go ahead and stick it in here until it gets ready to go down and as you close it, you'll see this one try and come out. At that point, go ahead and open your other clamp up. You have to stick it right here on top because you have the, on this caliper, you actually have the brake line going off the top there. So just put it right there and squeeze it in. You can see it going in. Do not open the bleeder valve. If you open the bleeder valve, you'll have to uh, bleed your brakes. This actually will push all of your brake fluid back up into the master cylinder, into the reservoir. Okay, those are all the way back. We can go ahead and take these off. Yeah, go ahead and it should go on pretty easy since the caliper is pressed put it back in here you got this little piece here you push it in and you got one at the bottom just push it in make sure the caliper is going to pass over it then take your screws just make sure you get them started that one and then this one And tighten them down. Now that everything's done, we'll just go into reverse order. Hey, wheel and lug nuts back on. Hubcap back on. Then let her back down. Okay, open the hood, check your reservoir. As I can see, without even opening the lid, that all of my fluid was pushed back up into the reservoir or the master cylinder. Now that you didn't open your bleeder, you can go ahead and get in the car, push your brake pedal all the way to the floor, bring it all the way back up, take it down again, you should have pedal. So now your brakes are good.